Hello everybody, we are from Group Thrombocyte and we will talk about environmental and endogenous factors affecting fish immune system. So let's talk about it. So this is Nawal, she is a healthy fish. Do you know what will happen to her when environmental factors and endogenous factors affect her immune system? First environmental factor that affect immune system is temperature. In low temperature, antibodies production decrease and the cells production defeated. Well, to make it short, the antibody is not functioning well in low temperature. The immune response will be altered in temperature because of the nature fish body system, which is poikilothermic. Poikilothermic is defined as body temperature change along with environmental temperature. Another factor is for the period. Usually, sunny season is longer. Therefore, Nawal is exposed longer to the sunlight. Her immune response peak or active in summer. However, rainy seasons are shorter, so her immune response are slower. This shows that photoperiod affects secretion of melatonin which disturb immune system. For information, melatonin is hormones that synchronize physiological events such as food intake, growth and reproduction. Okay, this is the crucial factor in fish, which is water quality. Can you imagine if Nawal is living in this kind of environment which has low DO, unbalanced pH, high ammonia, and toxic. This kind of environment will lead her to stress. Well, stress consists of three causes. First, chemical stressor, which is low water quality. Second, biological stressor, such as example, high stocking density. And the last one is physical stressor, which involve handling, transportation, and change in temperature. When Nawal is stressed, she will likely to release hormones cortisol and catecholamine, which will lead to unfavorable condition in fish body. Alright, let's talk about endogenous factors that affects the fish immune system. Alright, let's take a look inside the fish. There are a few factors that can affect the fish health and one of them is the age of a fish. We can assume that when a young fish uh, starts to develop their immune system, it, it has a low efficiency compared to an adult fish. And as they grow older, their immune system starts to be less efficient and they tend to get diseases more often. The innate immunity tends to develop earlier though, compared to the adaptive immunity. The next factor is the evolutionary lineage. Let's imagine different species of fish in the ocean scattered all over the world. So these fishes, they adapt to their environment according to the pressure that is around them it will influence their immune system and immune response. Evolutionary lineage is also the key factor that gives rise to intraspecific variations. Intraspecific variance is the difference between members of the different species. Last but not least is maternal effects. It is known that the mother of a fish will transfer their innate and adaptive immune parameters to their eggs. The female will transfer transplacentally via yolk to protect their young during early stages. Practically, their young inherits their mother's immune system and are able to fight off diseases that the mother fish has ever encountered. 
certain mother also secrete mucus, which provide nutrients for their larvae as a protective role. I guess that's it from us, the thrombocytes. Thank you.